Welcome to my unboxing and first look at a line interactive UPS from Opti UPS. So I've, we've had a look at a couple UPSs from them, including the beastly one from their durable series, which um, was loud, but beastly, more for industrial use, as well as one of their more consumer ones. This guy right here is a higher end consumer level unit. So it has some of the features that you'd expect from a premium UPS, like being line interactive, and I'll explain what that is in a moment, but it doesn't have like an industrial cooling fan going on or uh, you know other things that would make it not really appropriate for home or office use. It's also quite a bit smaller and less heavy than that Uber one that we were dealing with before. So let's see what Opti has to say for themselves on the box here. This is the 1025P, which means it's good for up to 615 watts. Line interactive, what does that mean? Line interactive means that if you have crappy power going into the UPS, even when it's not running off of battery, it will be adjusting and fixing the input voltage for you so that your computer or whatever other devices you have hooked up to it are never gonna see ugly, dirty power that can, over the long term or even the short term, damage your components and cause instability. Line Interactive is a must if you have a high-end system and you wanna take care of it. This one right here, simulated sine wave. So yes, it is not true sine wave or pure sine wave or whatever else the case may be. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that every active power factor correction power supply is gonna just turn off. We actually did a fair amount of testing on this with a simulated sine wave UPS in the past versus a pure sine wave UPS. And we actually found that the pure sine wave UPS we had, which was from not the Opti UPS, but one of their competitors who shall remain nameless, um, was less compatible with active PFC power supplies than the simulated one. So it's not as cut and dried as simulated sine wave is bad and pure sine wave is good. So bear that in mind, okay? Read reviews would probably be the best thing, the best advice I can give. Rated out volt, rated output, vo rated input voltage range. The rated voltage plus or minus 25%. So if your power is like super dirty and it's like 100 volts or 140 volts input, it'll still be able to fix that for you, no problem. Okay, output voltage regulation plus or minus 5% on battery. That's just fine. I mean, battery's, uh, battery's tough. Transfer time is 4 milliseconds. Turn on battery, yes. Auto restart, yes. It does communicate with your computer so you can use USB in order to, there we go, to get it to tell your computer, hey, you know, there's no power. You're going to want to shut that down there and uh, shut down properly, buddy. Or, uh, you know, bad things are going to happen. That's basically what it says, but like in binary. Um, AVR, in the case of increase the voltage up to the gap, yeah, four battery backup, two bypass outlets, okay. UPS shuts down at 110% load for 60 seconds or 100. Okay, overload protection, fuse, circuit breaker. So overload protection, basically 615 watts is good enough for your, it's okay. Remember guys, if your computer consumes 500 watts, that means this guy has to output about 600 watts to sustain it because of the inefficiency, again, at the power supply level. So basically this is good for your single tower with one high end CPU, one high-end GPU. This is not for like SLI or triple SLI configurations or anything like that, especially if you're planning to have something like your monitor connected to it as well and you've got like a lot of peripherals plugged into your board. So bear in mind, this is for like, you know, your basic gaming system and not much else. They do have much higher end units, including from this series. They have one that can do up to 900 watts. That guy, you can do an SLI system, no problem. And then, you know, probably your monitor as well. And I wouldn't worry too much about it. So uh, it's heavy, you know, lead batteries are heavy and uh, that's pretty typical of a UPS. You've also got an LED readout on this one, which on that lower end unit, we didn't see. So this gives you a lot of useful information, including the battery level, as well as what mode the UPS is running in, or in what mode the UPS is running. I should be making an effort to speak correctly on this channel since, you know, maybe I'll start Linus like English language tips at some point. On the back, you got your input. You have four battery backup and surge protected and actively you know, taken care of outputs and then two simple pass-throughs, just surge protection, no battery backup. You've also got ethernet protection or you can actually plug in RJ11, which would be, your, would be your phone line, so you can protect those as well. And there's your USB interface. Whoops, I turned it on. Ventilation is handled by vents in the side. No active cooling on this guy, so it's gonna be 
pretty much silent. You might get a slight buzz because there's some pretty high powered stuff going on inside of UPSs. And I'm just gonna check my notes really quick here. Just blatantly looking at my cheat sheet while Slick pretends it's not happening by looking somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything. Uh, oh yeah, except the included phone cable and USB cable and Sentinel software, which you can download the latest on the OptiUPS website. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more boxing reviews and other computer videos. And don't forget, if you have a computer you care about, you pretty much should be running it off of a UPS. It's um, not actually that optional. There's a couple little things here that you might want to know. Battery mode will sound every 10 seconds. Low battery will sound every second. And overload will sound every 0.5 seconds. So you can tell what the alarm means just by listening to it. If you guys have seen the Faulty Towers episode, then just remember, it's a semitone higher! <laughs>